so it's raining and you're trying to run from your front door to your car so you get less wet, right? Turns out it's actually not that simple. So here's the question, should you walk or run to get less wet when it rains? Well, actually, we've got to take a look at physics because the speed that the rain is coming down, the angle and the wind, all of that is important. Physics plays a role here because it's important to note how much rain hits the top of your head and also the sides of your body. So in general, if you walk, you'll get hit by more raindrops on the top of your head. So you'd get wetter than if you ran. If you run through the rain, you get hit with fewer raindrops on the top of your head and you travel a shorter distance, but you also get hit with more rain on the front and sides of your body. So really the amount you get wet generally stays consistent either way. The faster you go, the more raindrops hit you, but the shorter distance you have to travel. Some studies say if you run in the same direction at the same speed of the wind, that's your best bet. But turns out you'd actually have to run faster than an Olympic runner to make a difference. Oh well.